The activity to make a hairy mask goes alongside the exhibition Headcase by Julia Morrison. If you would like to see parts of this exhibition, please watch the beginning of the video below. You will need card or thick paper, pencil, ruler, scissors, wool or fabric cut into strips, PVA glue, a brush for the glue, string or plant ties and a stapler. Start by folding your rectangular piece of paper and folding it in half. Have a think about whereabouts you want your eyes and make a mark and then measure about 1.5 centimetres in from the folded side, that's the inside of your eye. Draw your eye, get your scissors, make a little cut and then cut out your eyes. Once that's done, open up your page, check it and then fold it back in half. Think about what shape you want it to be. I'm going for half a circle or a long oval. Check you're happy with the shape, get your scissors and cut it out. Open it up, check it, if you need to adjust it, draw it and cut it out to make sure it's the shape that you want it to be. I decided I wanted to use a rusty orange looking wool for my mask. In order to cut lots of string out, I wanted them to be this kind of similar lengths. So I've got some card, fold it in half and I'm wrapping my wool around it. This way I don't have to cut lots of individual pieces. I decided to make three different lengths of wool for my mask. I've chosen to paint my mask first before I glue my wool on. So I'm looking at kind of a, a similar colour, just maybe a little bit darker, so an orangey colour. So I mix it up and I'm going to paint it. Once it's all covered, and I've done it quite thick as well, but that'll help. And a little bit of yellow, a little bit of dark streaks, just to give it a bit of a change in colour here and there. If you take your bits of card with a string on them and if you hold them to the side you can slide your scissors in there and cut them in half. Sometimes it's a little bit tough if your scissors are a little bit blunt. Then pull them out, fold it in half again and cut through the loop. This way you get a whole bunch of nice short pieces. Start adding the glue on and sticking on the string. And then I hold the string and I just use the brush just to re-glue just the top bits just to make sure everything's covered. I use a lot of glue. I don't want any of my string pieces to fall off later. I also use the different size lengths of string that I have prepared. So that just gives you a little bit of a range as you go with the mask. So I started short down the bottom, then I went to medium, and slowly as I head up towards the top of the head, I'm starting to use longer pieces. Now as you head up towards the eyes, just think about where the eye holes are as well, because you don't want the string sticking up over into that, into your eyes later. So just work around the edges of the eyes first, and we can always go back closer to the eye later if we need to. As I head to the very top of the mask, I'm going to put some hairs going the wrong way, so going upwards, in the hope that once it's all dry, it'll fold back over a little bit like a fringe. That way it'll hide some of the tops of my mask where you can see where I've glued it. Now to add on the ties. So again I've used my plant ties, fold them out a little bit, turn the mask upside down, line it up to where the eye holes are and staple it through. Sometimes you might need another staple. Remember, do it this way and then the little sharp parts of your staple will fold out to the outside and it won't scratch your skin. Once you've tied it up, put it on, have a little play in the mirror, see what you can do with the eyes. Can you see well through those eye holes or is the hair covering it? Have a play, maybe you could do a different hairstyle. Shake it about, let it all kind of uncurl and unstick a little bit. There we go. Have fun, enjoy!